Hi everybody. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm actually, um, I'm going to do a video and talk about a couple things because going live, it, it'll actually make me go off topic. So I'm probably going to get some hate for this. And to be honest with you, I don't really care. Um, so I'm going to start off with the whole, um, personality thing because apparently that's a problem. So I, I get called disrespectful and rude. I'm not disrespectful and rude. I'm just bluntfully honest and to the point. And to be honest with you, I don't care. I, I really do not care. Um, I've been on this platform now since 2015. I've also been recently on this platform as in actually focusing on my goals, my dreams, and um, other things in my actual life, you know, because we all have actual lives out of, away from social media. And the thing about that is, okay, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to pretend to be something that I'm not, nor have I ever, but at the same time, if I'm straightforward with you, be glad because I'd rather be straightforward with someone than be something I'm not because I'm not fake. Never have been, never will be. I don't know how to be fake. Um, but at the end of the day, we all have problems. We really do. We all have problems. We all have issues. We all have things that we are trying to conquer in our everyday life. And a lot of people get that confused with social media. Who knew? But anyways, so with that being said, if you're not in my everyday life and you're not in my everyday conversating life where I'm actually texting you, I'm actually messaging you on Messenger, or we're having phone calls, or, you know, we're constantly just, just talking back and forth. I don't understand why some people get butt hurt if I'm real with them. Like, if, if someone says, hey, stop sending me links, and you still send them links, well, now you're, you're disrupting a boundary that someone set up, because it's like, I don't want links. Stop sending them to me. But yet you're still doing it. That means that you as a human being don't respect that person. Because you're still doing what they asked you not to do. On top of that, if someone says, hey, can you not do this in my life? And they still do it in your life. That means that that person doesn't, disres that, that doesn't respect you. See, there's a difference between disrespecting someone and respecting someone. And a lot of people get those mixed up because if I'm coming to you straightforwardly as I always do as a person and you're calling me rude and disrespectful, that means that you mentally have something wrong with you. And I know that's going to get taken the wrong way by somebody. I'm sure it always does. That means that you as an individual don't understand realness and fakeness because if someone's being real with you, that's not being disrespectful or rude. That's being fucking real. You know what I'm saying? Now, another thing had come up to where I'm making plans to do something. Okay? Or just so-and-so so is making plans to do something. Or Joe Smo is making plans to do something. I'm, I'm just saying this in general. Alright? Now, if, if I sit here and say, hey, let's, let's do this as a group. And a person's like, well, I'm not comfortable with doing this with a group. I'd rather do this with one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, that's cool. It, it's cool. It really is because I hate group settings. I really do. I hate a bunch of people around me because I am a very antisocial person. And, I, I, and, and you or me or whoever goes to the next person and say, hey, well, this person has this going on. Why don't we do this, 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 and this on this day? Because this is this is what's what it we can do. You know what I'm saying? So if if we're canceling plans for one day, 
but making a whole list of plans for another day why is that day a problem seriously why is the plans for that day a problem when we're making a whole bunch of plans for this day you know what I'm saying it ain't the, the way I look at it that's not uninviting someone that's respecting again someone's fucking boundaries if someone says hey I would rather not do this right now because I have this going on and I am not okay in a social setting and you need to respect that person's boundaries like what the fuck like I don't know what the hell is going on with this world I don't know what the hell is going on with people but y'all need to chill the fuck out for real for real like y'all need to chill the fuck out okay like respect people's boundaries respect people individual like when it, it's and it's so funny because when when I put people on blast on my community tab I don't call people names I don't call them stupid and dumb and all this other shit I say hey guys look someone's minding my business again or hey look at this person they someone don't like cats or you know I say something at like that's humorous you know, but if someone comes on my shit commenting some off the wall hateful ass shit, I'm either gonna delete it or I'm gonna entertain it, depending on what type of mood I'm in. If I'm in a mood to entertain it, then yeah, I'm gonna entertain it, and I'm, I'm gonna be a smart ass about it. But if I'm not in a mood to entertain, I'll just delete it. So I mean, you can leave whatever hateful ass comments you want, but it, it's gonna get removed. So like, seriously, people, chill the fuck out. Like seriously, chill the fuck out. Like. I love all my people. I really do. I love my... I seriously love the people that have supported this channel since I have been blasted. I have been used for locations. Money for locations. Fucking used for friendships. Used for whatever people felt that they needed to use me for. Yeah, that changes a person. And it turns them into this. A hateful ass person that doesn't give a fuck anymore on how I come across you know and yeah it's kind of fucked up it really is fucked up but when you you you, you put someone down so much you, you, you when you do some hateful shit to a person they can only handle so much before they just finally say fuck the world I mean I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm making sense to a lot of people because a lot I'm not probably the only one that's been that this has been done to you know and you know so at the end of the day the nonsense on social media that's nonsense on social media that doesn't it shouldn't affect your everyday life you know it shouldn't affect how you function every day like social media is here for our entertainment advice laughter um, you know whatever the case may be but People have gotten really, really comfortable with, with, with turning it into shit it's not, okay? So, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. It did take some balls to do this because I really wasn't going to do this. I was going to go live, but I'd rather have the camera on me face-to-face -face so you guys can see my frustration because I'm just trying to live my damn life and make my content, for real. Live my life, make my money, make my plans, and make my content, Okay? If you're not in my everyday life, uh, participating in text messages, participating in like phone calls, messenger, whatever, on an everyday, like not 24-7, but at least every other day, if you're not associating that type of interaction with me, don't call yourself my friend, don't call me your bro, don't call me your sis, okay? Because I'm not your fucking sis, alright? I'm a human fucking being. Now, there's a difference between, between saying bruh, like brah, because that's a figure of speech. And it actually started pretty much on the West Coast, because that's what we call people. We're like, bruh, you know. But I'm not anybody's sis. I'm not anybody's, like, whatever. I'm not no one's family member. My family member died in October, okay. I have my, my family member, member's wife, my husband, and my kids, okay. Those are my family members. And then my close friends that I choose to call them family. Anybody else? I'm not your sis. I'm not your bro. I'm not your, your fam. Okay? I'm a human fucking being living my fucking life. And if that's a problem for other people, get over it. Seriously. Get over it. Focus on you. 
Focus on your shit. Focus on your dreams. Focus on what you want out of your life. Stop worrying about what Joe Smo is doing with, with the 50,000 subscribers. Stop worrying about with, what, what Anna Marie is doing with her 10 million views. Stop worrying about who's monetized. Stop worrying about who's getting paid. Stop worrying about whoever's worried about. Worry about your damn self and the goals that you have in your life. Again, I'm probably going to receive hate for this video, but I really don't give a fuck. I don't care. I really do not care. So aside from all that, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching this, and I hope you learned something, because some people really do need to kind of listen and, and learn. <laughs>